Hi Cancer, welcome back. So this is your mid-July reading from the middle of July. So today is the 15th, 15th of July to the end of July, 2022. Uh, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising signs, you can also check Venus and any other Cancer placement that you feel resonates with this reading. Go with it, all right? So let's get straight into it. Cancer, first let me say a massive thank you. Y'all's last June reading was the most viewed. Um, I think y'all's love reading was the most viewed. So thank you for your engagement, your comments, your likes, your views. Thank you for those who subscribed recently. Welcome to the channel. All right, so let's get into it, Cancer. I hope y'all have been having a beautiful solar return season. Let's see. So we're going to look at what's going on for yourself, what's going on potentially for money, um, your relationships, and your career. Okay, so let's go. What's the message when it comes to cancer self? All right, so you've got the sun and the, the ace of pentacles. And I feel, no, ten of pentacles, sorry. Ten of pentacles. And here it is. I was just mentioning the fact that it's y'all season. The sun is in cancer. The sun is shining on you. Your first card is the sun. The self is what I'm talking about. It's a brand new year for y'all. Okay, so to have the sun and the ten of pentacles as the energy surrounding you when it comes to yourself, um, self-actualization, self-growth, self-awareness, whatever it is that you might be thinking about, self-healing. This is really beautiful energy. The sun, there's this hummingbird happening here and the ten of pentacles, it's feet feeling grounded, feeling solid, building solid foundations for yourself or working on building solid foundations for yourself. It could also be feeling very connected to your family, to those who you, whether it's blood or, or otherwise, um, money looking solid for some of y'all welcoming a son, a new baby. Moving into a new home. For some of you moving somewhere warm, planting seeds somewhere warm, planting seeds somewhere that makes you feel happy, makes you feel, you know, like your inner child is 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 healing, connecting to your inner child. This happiness, happiness. I this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I mean, you can't get any more beautiful for that. For your first set of cards, and the moon is at the bottom, your ruler, sun and moon. Wow. So new energy all around. So let's look at when it comes to your money, what can potentially be showing up for you in mid-July. Give me, give me one more card for Cancer. Is there money? So you got the page of sword, page of cups, sorry, and the eight of swords. So when it comes to your money, you might feel as if it's dripping, dripping, dripping. You want that flow and all you feel as if things dripping also an opportunity could present itself that could potentially make you feel happy or excited but you might feel defensive about it you might it's like you're inspecting it looking looking at it all around not sure if you can receive it accept it you feel as if you're on, on edge for some reason in mid-july when it comes to your money all right, so Page of Cups, Eight of Swords. So a message comes through, you feel trapped. Maybe you feel as if you're doing the most and nothing is coming back. You're putting in a lot of hours. Maybe for some of you, you don't feel recognized in whatever your craft is. For some of you, you feel as if within work, your work environment, whatever you're doing to, to attract your money, that it's like trying to make a dollar the 15 cents you're putting in lots of hours you don't feel recognized you don't feel appreciated when it comes to your money there could also be a situation where a potential there's a potential for a windfall of money or somebody to come in to offer you something connected to money for your money to grow and at first it looks like something that you might want to you know grab at but you're being advised to inspect it before jumping into it because it could end up being a trap of some sort for you. So be mindful of that. Yeah. I'm going to get Oracle cards for all of these positions as well. All right. Yeah. 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 
Yep, two of wands. Look at you, hands crossed across, hands crossed across the chest. There's also a mask. So, you know, it's like you need to be aware of whatever this is that might be coming through for you on offer. It could also be, for, like I've been saying, that y'all feel that you've been putting in lots of work, but there's nothing behind it. You're not getting what you want from it. You just feel as if it's just a, a black hole, you know, going around in circles for some reason. All right, give me one more card for their money. And you've got the emperor at the top. So this is a reminder that you are the boss and it comes to your money, right? Watch out for limiting beliefs about how you can receive your money. You know, sometimes you might be going on about work hard. You got to work hard to get your money. You got to grind to get your money. And words, be mindful of the words you're using. Be mindful of how you're putting together words and what you're making from putting together certain words, what you're creating. I got to work hard to get money. So you, you basically saying you have to work hard to get money, but is that the case? Or can you align yourself with what you want to attract? The other thing is too, to know that you have enough. And if you can't pay a bill today, it's due today. You can't pay it today. What going to happen? Life still will continue. Think about think back to all the times where you needed or you thought you needed some money to do something and it didn't happen, but you still here. You still going on, you still growing, you still you still living. So watch out for fear when it comes to money. Watch out for what you might be telling yourself when it comes to money. Watch out for, you know, the messages, the messaging that you're giving yourself regarding money. Let's look at your relationships, okay? So this could be family. This could be a lover. Whatever relationship you're thinking about as you watch, let's look at that energy. So what when it comes to relationships in mid-July, give me one more card for Cancer. All right, so you got the Knight of Wands and the Star. So now i'd ask if y'all were looking to move when i saw the sun with the ten of pentacles i see there's a chest here there's a house so it looks like you're looking to plant roots um settle settle down in some way when it comes to your your romantic life or relationships family friends whatever it is you're thinking about there is somebody moving i see moving i see it's almost as if I don't know if somebody had a dream about living in a, a particular place or you've been dreaming about a particular space and you researched it and you feel drawn to it. You know, it's this, this energy of I've always wanted to go somewhere. I've always wanted to live somewhere. I've always seen myself somewhere. I feel drawn. I feel connected to a certain place. There is this passion and there is this sense of going towards. So... And that's the energy I feel with the, the self energy, your self energy. So when it comes to your relationships, I don't know if you're moving home, moving towards home, moving towards where you feel destined to. There's also this energy of fire energy coming in towards you. Um, they are very passionate, very excited. They see you as the star. They see you as, I just looked over 11-11. They see you as the star. They see you as a star. They see you as they feel drawn to you. They feel as if they're destined to come towards you. Are y'all supposed to be together? There is this sense of vulnerability when it comes to your romantic connections. This sense of I am what I am. Take me as I am. This is my love language. These are my love languages. This is, this is what I need to thrive in love. There is this sense of I don't know, it's just, you got the sun, the star, the sun, the star, the moon showing up for y'all. I don't know, there's this, somebody coming in hot, Cancer. I don't even remember what y'all's love reading was. Something to do with proposals, but y'all love the message because the views that I got for that, that reading and the comments and the, and the likes. 
So maybe this is what's coming through here again. I feel like somebody's hot for you guys. Um, there's this y'all being called to a place. Some of y'all be feel might feel as if y'all being called to a place. Three of Cups, Queen of Wands, and I said call. Look, when I cut the deck, the Queen of Wands. So I don't know. Is somebody calling you to come to a place? Whether physically, mentally, spiritually. Let's look at your career energy from mid July to. Make it clear, please. What's Cancer's energy from mid-July to the end of July? Okay. So when it comes to career, it seems like there's a lot happening because the way how the card's coming out. You have the Tower, the Five of Cups, and the Hier Eight of Cups, sorry, and the Hierophant. The Tower, the Eight of Cups, the Hierophant. So it's interesting that I was saying that y'all might seem to, there might be a lot of energy surrounding your career, um, the tower. So maybe some unexpected changes, unexpected changes does not have to be a negative thing. For some of you, it might feel like it's a negative, um, but you being called to walk away from something. So there's something that you, when it comes to career that you have been contemplating, maybe leaving a job, um, going after a particular job or craft or expanding your knowledge on something there's something you've been contemplating about making a change and this is because it's time for a change so whether you take the initiative or the universe creates a situation for the for the thing to fall away or for you to leave a situation is happening when it comes to your career but the beautiful thing is is that in its place is some new energy coming in so it's like something closes off with your career maybe making changes with your career making leaving a job starting your own business looking into um higher learning of some sort Though you've been contemplating it, you feel called to it, or you could see the signs of something changing when it comes to those themes. And then the higher font shows up, which is higher learning. Maybe you finding out that you are um, have been approved for education, higher education. Maybe you've been approved for internship, a scholarship. Maybe you've been headhunted. Maybe you've received sponsorship, uh, an investor, some sort. Something is coming in to fill it, to, to fill the space of whatever is changing, was dramatically changing in your career life. So this is mid July to the end of July. Remember, spirit doesn't really have a concept of time like we do. So this could be sooner. It could be later. This could have already happened for some of you. I see celebration here and the six of pentacles at the top. So this is something, it's things come in full circle, it feels, right? This, you felt something changing with your career or you've been working towards something changing with your career. The three of cups is here at the bottom. So there's something, some kind of celebration happening. It feels as if you are moving into a more established sense of self within a career theme in your life, business or career. So your first card being the sun from mid July until the end of July. And, and, and this will obviously correlate to Leo season, Leo's ruled by the sun. So it feels as if there is this over the next couple of weeks starting to see some momentum see things changing see things picking up i feel as if this ties in with the themes of the last couple of readings i've done for y'all i never remember to check y'all's check the last reading so that i can segue into the next but y'all get the message either way all right so i'm going to get a card for yourself and i cut the deck and i see success so give me one card for rather this is a card for the entire reading let's see no need to worry 
All right, that's your card. No need to worry. Um, I was saying it's the entire reading. I'll, I'll stay with what I was saying initially. So this would be the card to connect to self. All right, so I'll pull up an Oracle card for each placement. So to connect to your sun and your ten of pentacles, no need to worry. I mean, hello, it's the sun. It's the most beautiful card in the deck. This is happiness. This is vitality. This is health. This could be traveling to somewhere warm. This is, could somebody could be expecting the sun. This is new life. This is feeling enthusiastic and excited. And your ten of pentacles is money. Solid money, solid foundation, solid connection, solid tribe. Um, no need to worry. Okay, so let's look at your money, money and career. So your money, just your money. Sorry, this is a new spread. So I'm like more or less making it up as I go along. So let's look at your money. I got the money and law of attraction cards here. Give me a card for, for cancer and their money. So your message is, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. I can deliberately choose to feel better now. It says, not only does the thought you are choosing right now attract the next thought and the next and so on, it also provides the basis of your alignment with your inner being. As you consistently and deliberately think and speak more of what you do want and less of what you do not want, you will find yourself more often in alignment with the pure, positive essence of your own source. And under those conditions, your life will be extremely pleasing to you. So it's like pivoting, changing your point of attraction. So instead of thinking about or stressing about the things that you don't want to happen, Spend that time creating in your mind what you do want. What does that look like? What would that feel like? If all your money woes were to disappear now, how would that feel? What would you do? You know, paint that picture. Okay, so let's look at your love. Relationship. and their love romantic connections what's the message for cancer spirit guys could you okay reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so this might be why this person is coming in full steam ahead knight of wands okay they're passionate they're excited they see you as the star they see you as it's destined they feel as if it's written in the stars. Okay, so this could be some, for some of y'all, it could be an X. Because um, you have reconciliation here. Bottom is, at, sorry, top of the deck. Top or bottom? Yeah. I think this was at the top. Yeah, I think that was, what, I'm sorry. The cards are all over the place. All right, so bottom is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So that really ties in with the reconciliation theme. Top is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So remember, because these are general, as much as I might be saying somebody can be coming in towards you, you could be going towards somebody with all this passion. Um, let's see, at the heart for you, my love, past life relationship, you've known each other before. So this is all tying in, reconciliation, expressing your love. Um, giving your relationship a chance. Interesting. All right, let's look at your... I'm going to use the moon cards. And I just saw communication is key. All right, considering what I was just talking about, reconciliation and all that. I'm going to use the moon cards to tell me about your career. What's the energy for cancer spirit guys it's time to take action you cannot make this up cancer and we saw the emperor as well for this position for career the emperor was there at the top 
I showed you all the info. I'm sure when it was connected to the career reading, or was that money? But the Emperor is Aries, nonetheless, and that's New Moon and Aries card. It's time to take action. So remember when I was saying to you that there's a tower here with the Eight of Cups, something you've been contemplating, making a move on, making a change, walking away from it some way. It's time to take action so that the Hierophant can come in, so something solid, stable, and aligned with what you want can come in. All right, it's time to take action. Bottom is... Take time to breathe out. Have faith in your dreams. A new romantic cycle begins. It is what it is, right? So that's at the heart. So perhaps your money could be connected to your relationships. Right? Eighth house kind of energy. All right, loves, that is your message. That is your reading for mid-July. Let me know how y'all feel about this reading. Drop a, a comment, give me a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. And until your next message, my loves, be well. All right, loves, bye-bye.